The next step in the Delphi murders case is now in the hands of the Indiana Supreme Court. The judge appointed new public defenders for Richard Allen, but his original attorneys have not given up their fight to stay on this case. Our Rich Nye joins us tonight in studio. So Rich, what's next in this fight over who is going to represent Richard Allen? Well, I've been talking to legal experts today as we continue to try to sort this out. The next big day on the schedule for this case is November 9th. That has to do with a separate case before the Indiana Supreme Court. The state's highest court is considering a request to order Judge Francis Gull to follow court rules or correct mistakes in the case. Attorneys argued the judge has kept records sealed that should be made public. Yesterday, Judge Gull refused to reinstate Andrew Baldwin and Bradley Ro Rosie as Allen's attorneys. I talked to longtime defense attorney Ben Jaffe this afternoon. He says the state's high court has great leeway in how they rule on this petition. I think they could reinstate these attorneys as the attorneys of record, as the appropriate attorneys. I think they could you know, acknowledge their continued representation as pro bono counsel if they want. I, I think there's quite a bit they could do there. And the Supreme Court's well aware this is a this is getting a lot of press. This is getting a lot of attention, national attention. So I do think they'll be careful and thoughtful in, in the way they look at this. Richard Allen has made it clear that he wants Baldwin and Rosie to continue as his counsel. But Judge Gohl says the original attorneys engaged in gross negligence coming up at six, while legal experts say this gross negligence has not really been defined and it may not be enough to kick them off the case anyway. So many changes, so many developments. We'll see you tonight at six. Thanks, Rich. That's what's in turns. Mm -hmm. All right.